Welcome to this video guys. I have this project here and in this video I'll show you how you can clone this and then I'll make some changes to this code here and then we'll see how we can pull updated code from this repository to our local machine. So first let's clone this and then we will make some change here in this repository and we will see how we can pull that updated code. So just copy this URL for now, go to wherever you want to clone your project and click here in the address bar and type cmd. Your command prompt will be open in this directory. Now to clone that project, just enter this command git clone and then the URL, but add .git at the end and hit enter. Now you can also do this using git bash. That is the common way to do it. Just enter git bash and open git bash. And you could do the same thing here in git bash. But first you'll have to navigate to where you want to pull the project. Okay, you can use cd command to navigate to that directory, but the quick way is what I've just shown you. So now we have our project here ready, right? So right now the code here is the same as the code in this repository. So let's open that code in Visual Studio Code so that we can see it. Here as you can see, I have main.py and requirements.txt. Here you can see that the code here is the same as the code here. So let me open requirements.txt. This is exactly the same as this, as I have just now pulled it, okay? So you can check it side by side. Here, as you can see, they are the same thing. And if I check main.py here, it should be same as the main.py here. Okay, so now we have seen that the code is same, right? Master Sam, new change by dev one, this, 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 and here we have the same thing. So let's make some change here, and then we will pull this code here in our local machine. So what I'll do is I'll just click on edit this file and let's just add some comment here. I'll write, this is a new change. Okay. And I'll click on commit changes, write a commit message that says added a comment and click on commit changes. Once you've committed the changes here, you can pull this in your local machine. So what you can do is you can open terminal here in Visual Studio Code itself just by going here and opening new terminal. But if you don't have Visual Studio Code, you can just open it using this command prompt itself. So first we need to go inside our project folder. The project folder name was PY Assistant, right? So what we'll do is write CD PY, then hit tab, it'll auto complete. Go inside this folder. And now you can check the status by entering this command. This will show you that you're on branch main and you let's pull from branch main right now. So if I go to my browser here, as you can see, I am on main branch by clicking here. So all the branches will be listed here. So what you can do is when you see git status, you are also on main branch, right? So what you'll do is you'll pull from this main branch. So the command is git pull origin main. Hit enter. And now as you can see, it shows there are two changes. And to see that, you can just open the file main.py. As you can see, this is a new change is already here. So if there are no issues, like if there are no changes in your local machine and there's change only in your remote repository, everything works fine and there will not be any issues. But let's say if you make some change here, you add, this is my local change and save this. And then you make some change here. Let's say some other developer does something else here and he commits it. This is done by some other dev and let's commit this and I'll write update main.py by other dev. Okay. And commit this change. So now, right now we have two different versions of the same file in the remote repository. It is this change. Some that is done by some other dev in my local machine. This is done by me. Okay. So let's see what happens when I try to pull this now. So as you can see, it is giving me an error that says, please commit your changes or stash them before you merge. Okay, so this means that I either have to remove my change or pull the code anyway and then make changes. So what you can do is a quick fix to do this is just do git stash, hit enter. And now if I go here, as you can see, the old change will be removed. So any change that you have not committed yet will be removed by this command. And now you can pull like this, git pull origin main. So this way, you can get change from another developer if you are not sure that you want to keep your change or not. So this is one way. Now, other way is to keep your change and both the other developers change too, and then 
merge them together. Let's see how we can do that. So let me write my change here again. And let's go back here. And here let's write other change. Okay. Now let's say this time you want to keep your code and write other change to commit this. Okay. Now let's say we want to keep our change this time, not the other developer's change. So what you need to do is before pulling it, that is before pulling the remote updated code, you can check the status. And as you can see, it will show that you have modified main.py, but it is not yet committed. So if you need to keep your change, first commit it. So the command is git commit and write a message and just say my change, hit enter. Okay, you can add an A here. Okay, now check git status. So everything is clean in our local machine. Now let's say we want to get what other developer has done and updated. So I'll do git pull origin and the branch name is main. This is the branch from where we are pulling, right? As you can see, it is now showing this error that says merge conflict. So this is because the same line was changed by me and the other developer. So what you can do is you can either, if you are on Visual Studio Code, you can click on accept current change and the change that you have done will be saved and this will be removed. But let's say you are not opening Visual Studio Code, you are just here. So you can just open this in any editor that you want, PyCharm or even Notepad. What you'll see here is this thing. So this is done by me and this is done by the other developer. So you can do anything you want here. You can completely remove other developers change and this too and only this will be remaining or let's say you want to keep both the changes so I'll just remove this extra line of code and yeah so now we have both the changes so this is how you can pull updated code from github if you have any questions let me know in the comments below